Hello, all my beautiful Mystic Tribe members. Welcome to my Mystic Friends for your weekly Mystic. This is our reading for August the 17th through the 23rd. Many blessings to you all. If you haven't gotten a chance to watch your second half of August monthly horoscope readings, you should really take a peek. Um, everybody's had something really special to offer. It looks like the timing. You can tell when everyone's is moving in that kind of energy. Um, if you haven't watched it, please do so because you're, you're going to be very surprised and pleased. If you'd like to do that, please scroll down to the description below the reading. You'll see an eye icon. That is my eye. And if you poke me in the eye, <laughs> you can go right to my home page. That'll take you to the wonderful playlist that I have already organized. You can check out the free readings and see what else I have to offer. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. And I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your reading. So let's get right into this week. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path for the week of August the 17th through the 23rd of 2020. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine, for your presence. Okay. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, combined day. With the underlier of the Seven of Cups. Yay, team. Dump truck load of blessings. This is a beautiful overflow of abundance. And it means that it's going to happen just virtually all at once. Um, feeling very overwhelming, but all a blessing still the same. Sometimes uh, good things come in a, in a wave of abundance that seems to be a little bit uh, overpowering. However, the old adage of... God don't give you more than you can handle. The, the universe works that way all the time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's see what our underlier is for the clarifying deck. We have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is the energy of, that may be the kind of, you know, um, even though it's all happening at once, you may feel a little bit of loss for the, some people, I, this is, they're telling me that some people are having the moment of, you know, once you've been off work for s such a time that you've developed now the new habit of being at home or working from home, the thought of going back to an actual place or, you know, beginning that may, may cause you a little bit of sorrow because even though you'd like to get back into the normal routine, um, there's some trepidation to it. Even people going back to school or children going back to school may have some fear or some anxiety related to that. That is absolutely normal. So just know that the universe understands and is with you on that. And uh, you can tap into the energy of source and allow yourself to become uh, resilient to it. And uh, you just have to stand with that energy. Change. It's just as hard to change back as it was to change forward, right? So, motivation is our top card. And I love it because it looks like she's standing in the middle of a fountain. I love it. That's wonderful. I am motivated and motivated people help me to improve my finances. Absolutely. We love that energy of motivation. And the universe is our card for this reading. The universe will show me the right path to take to reach my goal. Remember, the universe is always ready to help and lend a, hen lend a hending hand. <laughs> lend a hand. How about that? I got stuck on a, on a word there. Sometimes that happens. Let's see what our sacred geometry has to say. Ooh, hexahedron. Back to the beautiful energy of the... the grounded solid stable base okay so well, this is listen in hunker down that's the most important thing is that you have a, a solid place to be 
and to hold you in a place of safety and security. Feeling safe and secure matters. So that's that root chakra energy. The, the color is also the root chakra. That is the, the tree doesn't, isn't able to stand if it doesn't have good roots grounded into the earth. Ooh, look, boy, what is the message today, guys? I wonder. <laughs> it's grounding, grounding here with the hematite. Wow, okay, that's very, very blatantly obvious. Uh, we won't have to go into too much learning detail on that. You guys who, uh, who listened at the very end don't have to be stuck in that energy. So I have some beautiful hematite bracelets I'm going to use when we do our meditation. And uh, we also have, you know, magnetic hematite is available. So you can get that as well. Pretty soon this is all going to be available on my store, guys. I'll be able to have all this. I'm already picking the items and it's very super exciting. So I can't wait to have all this good stuff for us to share. All right, let's see what uh, Monday has. Here we go. Ooh, the chariot. We love the chariot. We'll accept that. Yes, yes, yes. Life upgrade right off the bat with the lovers. Now, some of you, it may be meaning that there is an upgrade in a relationship. The lovers is the Gemini Major Arcana and the chariot is the Cancer Major Arcana. This is very fast moving energy, which also lines up with that Seven of Cups. The lovers, if it's not a relationship, it can be the ascension because the masculine and the feminine are here, and that is the your physical body is the masculine, and the feminine is that nurturing spirit energy. You've also got Archangel Raphael here helping to guide and walk with you as you move forward. So, if this is an upgrade in your career and finance, this is something that you it's a calling. It's something that your soul is literally laying out for the process of the upgrade. So the upgrade can be a spiritual upgrade, but it isn't always by itself because of this chariot. The chariot means all things, physical, spiritual, and financial. Well, very nice. We like to see the King of Pentacles, good old King Midas, show up on Tuesday. So chariot and the lovers for Monday, King of Pentacles with the Three of Cups on Tuesday. Beautiful energy of celebration and this commitment being made. So someone making a commitment to you or you making a commitment to something that brings in the celebration of all the joy and happiness that comes in. Also, King Midas, guys, it, he, everything he touches turns to gold. So he's a good guy to have around. <laughs> For those of you who are earth signs, this would be Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And the cups are water signs, which would be Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Now we have the Four of Wands as the good old solid grounding. That is the grounding energy of the Four of Wands. It does mean um, having a place of connectedness. If it's about work, it's about good communication and stability. And sometimes this card means if someone is upgrading into a marriage situation, this Four of Wands, Four of Wands does look like a marriage altar coming in here so very much in the place of uh, making that that kind of commitment but it also can be a doorway into the next cycle and the good news is it is very elaborate and beautiful or beautifully ordained so it is the new future and it's saying with this two of pentacles as its clarifier on wednesday the four of rods with the two of pentacles is Staying in your lane. <laughs> Don't get out here and try to save these boats. You have a, a job and a role to play here. You need to be focusing on what you're doing. Look at his little face. He's not paying attention to what's going on behind him. And you got to think, sometimes they're fine. Just because it looks like there's something crazy happening doesn't mean they're not going to weather it. Okay? So you don't have to jump in and try to save these boats. First of all, you can't. It's impossible. You will drown. Second of all, they're doing fine. They're still upright and above the water. So even though they're having a rough go of it, they're making it. So don't let the chaos distract you from your task. You still have a role to play, but it's not out there. It's on the beach, not in the water. So Wednesday, 
Thursday, Six of Swords. Beautiful energy of moving forward, allowing yourself to follow your higher self, or follow the spiritual energy as it is shining the light to give you the path. And you have the swords here which indicate your knowledge and your ability to move forward. You are equipped, you are ready. It means moving in the right direction, leaving the negativity behind, moving toward the future. With the beautiful strength card, all my Leo friends, this is the energy of the Leo Major Arcana, which we are in right now. And the Leo is very much guiding and helping and walking the, to the goal. So you're not being left in the lurch. This is Archangel Ariel. Ariel is known as the Lion of God and is dedicated and loyal all the way. So don't worry about making this trip. You are going to be guided and protected the whole way to the goal. Now, knocking everything crazy here. We have the hanged man. So, taking a position of observation. And, and some may say, and I have gotten this recently in some of my weekly workshops. I've been getting some really profound ener energy. And this particular energy came to me as... When it talks about getting in a higher position or looking up from above and changing your perspective, it can mean setting in your highest chakra, which is your crown chakra. So I got very strongly when we were discussing it in our group. Um, it is, it's, it, think of it as the hanged man. It's not merely saying raise up to a higher position. It's saying in your spiritual energy. What is the highest chakra for you physically? The crown. And as you look, you will be looking as the observer from above. So now we have the Six of Cups with this. So on Friday, we have the Six of Cups with the Hanged Man, which is your soul family energy. These are people in your life right now who are helping or part of the whole picture as they have gone through many lifetimes with you. So you have the support you need. Sometimes this can mean the people that you're about to change if you're going into a new employment or a new joining a new family, that these people are going to be very welcoming and you're going to fit in. It's going to be as though it is your tribe, okay? So we have the Four of Swords now, which is telling you don't overdo it. Allow yourself to recover this weekend. Take some time. You've got lots going on. This is big energy. All of this is big energy. Now the grounding that's showing up here is telling you, you have to sit down and reconnect to source and allow yourself to be restored through the energy of that, which is getting outside, putting your feet in the grass, allowing the sun to shine on your face, taking a hot bath with some Epsom salt or put salt in the water. It literally pulls the negativity out of your body because you need to be ready for this new beginning coming in, which is now starting. So this three of rods means expansion, leaving behind the things that have completed themselves. And these can be lessons that are now over and done and you've finished it, you've completed it. Now it's time for the new and you're ready to move in a new direction, but you wanna do it with your battery fully charged. So um, let's talk about the, the nurture and create energies as we're about to do the meditation. For those of you who are not staying for the meditation, love you all and have a great day. Uh, for those of you who are, the hexahedron is talking about the root chakra, which we will be pushing into uh, during the meditation. We will be grounding, we will be centering and focusing. And if you have some hematite, um, grab your hematite now. And I'm going to put my bracelets on because that's always more powerful. We have our beautiful hematite card. And... I'm going to put two hematites in each hand, one in each hand. So we have the beautiful energy here. We're going to have the card here. Okay. Everybody ready? Here we go with the meditation. Clearing, grounding, and focusing. Inhale beautiful white divine light from your crown chakra now. Holding the energy in your heart. Allow the beautiful divine light to move through your heart, clearing all dark shadow energy. Let the hematite draw that negativity out of you. That is a beautiful quality of hematite. It is just as good as any other 
strong energy of removal. We pull that energy out and we give it to the hematite and let the hematite disperse and distribute. As we release all shadow energy, all fear, doubt, and shame, all anxiety, we let it go now as it, like a little wisp of energy, as it pulls away, we feel like little tiny breeze of clearing and energy movement. You may even feel the hair on your arms subtly move as well. Allow this energy to move through your body with every beat of the heart. We allow the light to come in and the shadow to be removed. We allow ourselves to fully ground and be centered and focused. We allow every cell in our body to release all negative energy and become enlightened as it is illuminated through the divine light that we have inhaled. We release all disease, disharmony, and dysfunction. As we exhale, we send out all the negativity into the universe to be restored and recycled and renewed. Exhaling now. Second breath. Breathing in beautiful white divine light from your crown chakra. Inhale. Holding it in your heart. Allow the crown of your chakra opening to bring the grounded, subtle energy of secure, beautiful hematite and divine light. Allowing the very stable opening of your crown and communication to begin, removing all blockages. As the universe is now ready to download and give all information, we give permission for the universe to give us only the information that is for our highest good. As we now receive the information into our crown, we move it into our pineal gland, opening the pineal gland, allowing the little petals of the pine cone that's about the size of your pinky, your pinky fingernail, allowing that beautiful gland to activate and move and allow all the visual information the psychic downloads, and the beautiful knowing that comes through without even understanding how or why we know, we just do. And we begin to trust and understand that this is being given as a gift. We receive the information as the gift that it is given. And we thank the universe for that. As we move the energy now into our throat chakra, we allow our throat chakra to let go of the fear of being heard. All the times that we have heard or been told that we are not a valuable source of information and that our voice is not legitimate, we let go of that. It is not true and we recognize it as false as now we can stand in our truth and speak our voice and allow ourselves to be heard. For in doing so, we are allowing other people to feel the power of their own voice and their own spirit. As we speak up, we empower ourselves, we bring ourselves to wholeness and we release anxiety and blockages through our voice. As we allow the healing of our voice to help ourselves heal, our voice also heals others as we use compassion and divine guidance to help us assist anyone who comes into our lives in need of that guidance. Moving now into your heart chakra a second time, we allow the beautiful energy of divine light to move into our heart and allow every cell to restore itself to absolute perfection. If it is no longer able to do so, it falls away like a leaf on a tree as a new cell takes its place that's in absolute harmony with the rest of our body. As we allow this healing energy and we ground ourselves in the Mother Gaia energy, we are fully restoring ourselves and our light bodies are activating. As every beat of our heart passes every cell through our blood veins, we allow every impulse to become divine. As we are now in harmony with divine spirit and divine existence, 
we begin to harmonize with each other. As we are connected by source and we are connected in the beautiful matrix of divine light and divine information, we are restored and brought to wholeness through this connection. As we allow ourselves to heal and bring ourselves to absolute perfection, we let go of all trauma, all doubt, all fear, all judgment of self and others. We let go of unforgiveness of self and others. We allow ourselves to be fully restored as we let go and suspend our disbelief and reclaim our right to miraculous healing and beautiful, divine, wonderful lives that we are meant to have. It is our birthright and we claim it now. Moving now into your solar plexus chakra, to, into the warehouse or energy storehouse of all the vitality within yourself that comes from the universe and the sun, as we allow the molecules and the photons of life to be brought into our solar plexus chakra, to ignite it as though it is our inner sun. It is now our restorative and wonderful place where we dig deep when we find our place of lacking and we find ourselves in exhaustion we can pull from this beautiful chakra as it is always filled to fullness and ready for us to help us to move us through whatever obstacle or difficulty we may face moving now into your sacral chakra allowing your sacral chakra to fully engage in the divine light and beautiful energy of the universe as you are being given all the instructions through the divine as feelings of desire or feelings of vibrational frequencies that feel like a match that ring that heart bell that allow you to understand that this is something that you should do. This is something you want to do. It's something you should create or something you should bring into existence. This is the voice within you that beckons from the universe. It is the calling for your purpose. As you allow yourself to step into that, it is the most sacred and beautiful existence you can bring. This energy is absolutely the purpose of life to be in that creative combination with the universe allowing yourself to go freely into it openly allowing yourself to be free and not have any pre set notions just completely immerse yourself in the energy of divine and allow yourself to create this is the freedom and the beautiful blessing of the beautiful divine connection that we all share and we all have as our own individual experience. All is valid. Moving now into your root chakra, allowing the root chakra to reach down into the earth like roots on a massive tree. We allow that connection to anchor us and put us in a place of absolute connection at all times as we are made to feel safe through this connection, as we are held as sacred beings and our sacred energy is constantly restored through the grounding energy with Mother Gaia. As we release now all things that are not within our highest vibration and do not serve us in our highest good, we release the energy as we exhale and receive divine connection and source energy to restore ourselves wholly. Exhaling now. <sighs> Last breath, breathing in beautiful white divine light from your crown chakra, inhale. Allow the energy to move straight down your prana tube, moving straight down your spinal column into your root chakra, and now into the core of Mother Gaia. As the beautiful molten energy of Mother Gaia purifies, cleanses, and clears all the energy that was trying to remain residually within your physical body, it is now brought to a place of absolute perfection and can now be brought back out into the universe. As we pull the restored energy back through our bodies, we send it as light, as a fountain of beautiful light 
right out into the universe to all who are seeking and may be feeling lost or left behind or abandoned. We give them this beautiful energy now throughout the entire universe for all who may need it. May they receive love, healing, abundance, joy, and peace. Exhaling now divine light through the crown of your chakra. many blessings to you all. I hope you have a fabulous week. We certainly have the opportunity to be very, very, very connected in this beautiful reading. Thank you so much for being part of it. If you want to stay for the learning section, we'll go briefly through the books. And I thank you all for being here for this. I'm not going to take too much time. So these are, these are fundamental root I just I want to I want to be able to give what you need if if you haven't ever heard of these things so the the hematite energy this is what it looks like uncut and unpolished it's got these it almost looks like uh, you can see the geometric patterns in the actual crystal itself it looks like the um, dodecahedron this is it polished and they make rings and jewelry out of it I used to wear hematite rings and, and they'll break sometimes they shatter and then I was told that happens when they fill themselves with the negativity that they've pulled out of your body and it's time for you to replace it so if you have any hematite jewelry that's broken or you've broken a hematite now you know why so researchers have discovered that the center of the earth is made of hematite formed in the geometry of the dodecahedron. Wow. Uh, hey, guys, I'm learning. <laughs> I knew that before I read it. How about them apples? Being in the presence of this magical crystal naturally assists you to connect deeply to the heart of the planet, grounding your roots and foundations into the earth. The medicine of the hematite assists in detoxing on all levels, mind, body, and spirit, and is the most powerful grounding crystal on the planet wow i see it's been a while since i've read that <laughs> so purifies and clears cleanses the blood and assists in healing blood disorders grounds and connects to the center of the earth enhancing manifestation skills it encourages gentle healing after shock or trauma see this is why we read Royal Mystic can't remember everything. She's she's got a lot going on. Even before even before this. So number 12 is the number. So one more. No, that's not it. Try 17. Let's go 17. This is a platonic solid. Oh, okay. So this is the orange hexahedron. There is a red one, so I thought there was only one color. So whew, that's learning that. So the orange one is talking about your sacral chakra, so to nurture and create. I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. When this card arises, it's time to allow yourself to express the joy and pure essence of who you are and what you are here to create. It's not only the joy of the creation, but that the happiness of childhood memories and feeling the protection and guidance that has been given and shown to us from a loving and supporting upbringing. It is also based on the relationship to ourselves and friendships from others. Nurture yourself and listen to the needs and wants of your body as it craves to keep you feeling alive. This essence of your creativity and ability to give birth both physically and mentally are imperative here. The sacred geometry, the cube or hexahedron, is one of the platonic solids with six faces. Words, oh, sorry. This platonic and has six faces, works with the element of the earth and can be used as earth star, base, and sacral chakras. Within creation, the cube is formed at the 
hold on. Within creation, the cube is formed at the formation of eight cells. The dual of the cube is the octahedron. The octahedron. It's the one that looks like two pyramids joined at the base. Just had to throw that out there. So, um, the two tetrahedrons can sit perfectly within a cube. That's what this is. Tetrahed two tetrahedrons, the octahedron. The two tetrahedrons placed together create a Merkaba. When you turn them point to point and insert them, that's what it's talking about, which, or Merkaba, however you want to say it, Merkaba, Merkaba. So that's two tetrahedrons joined at the tips rather than the base and just pushed through each other. Um, or the three-dimensional star of David. The cube, in actuality, can contain all four other platonic solids. The only other shape to do this is the sphere. This is when all vertices of each shape touch the inner wall of the cube and the sphere. When working with geometries, it is universally accepted that straight lines are masculine and curved lines are feminine. Thus the cube is male and the sphere is female. When you look at a three-dimensional projection of the cube, you see a hexahedron. Sorry, a hexagon. Let's try that. The hexagon is also the shape of snowflakes and beehives. It is considered perfect parking. Packing. Sorry, <laughs> perfect packing. <laughs> perfect parking. If you truncate the cube, you will end up with a vector equilibrium or cube octahedron the shape fundamentally of geometry of perfect um oh, my, my, my brain just went tilt perfect equilibrium and the primary shape beyond torus okay i'm not going to keep going cuz this is going way too deep for my little little brain uh, I will say it represents the, the the base chakra represents sexuality, creativity, emotions, desires, addictions, birth of ideas and giving birth, issues of worth and your body. Ambition and drive are also indicated as the control issues can arrive in this center. Our in, intuition starts within this chakra. How about that? Well, that's the ba that's the, going to be the the root of everything, right? You would have to have it start there if it's going to move through. It's got to enter from somewhere. Got to come from the root. So, I hope you all enjoyed that little um, drop down the rabbit hole. <laughs> I'm glad I read the the hematite one first because <laughs> that one got as simple as that may look. It got so deep and so complicated. So I hope you all have a beautiful week, and those of you who are uh, leaning toward the Vibe Tribe, it's, we're having it on Monday, 6 p.m. my time. Um, you can uh, check out my, my, my royalmystic.com, we'll just say that. My webpage is the word I was trying to use, um, and you can join at any time, and you'll still be available to see all the previous ones. We've only really done one actual exercise class and there's a uh, it's lots lots of information it was very fun so i hope to see you guys there if you're thinking about it many blessings to you all have a beautiful week namaste